In the application flow will start with the index.html and index.js so in index.js html what we have we are telling to execute app component right so we will be displaying app component now from app component if you have any other component right so that is going to be displayed let's say three more components from here okay uh, i'm not talking about routing if we have routing then we'll have a based on the configuration will be routing between the components right let's say i have a header component okay and i have a home component and then i have a footer component right then again inside this home component i can have a form component right so like this way i can have many other components right so there will be some unrelated components there will be related components okay so like this the application flow will happen so basically index.html and index.js will be starting file and uh, whenever you want to start uh, the you know testing or something then the we do have a different configuration files right so scene setup.js test setup.js right somewhere here so this is the starting file so it will uh, load this library for you for uh, testing the component okay just dom so we will be using just library we'll be making use of just an enzyme okay what will happen just will be ready for you and we can test this okay so like this uh, files we will be creating we do have index.css file like uh, how we have app.component.css file right dot css file which we can say a global css file whatever you will be creating css see body they are keeping here right so the, some common css part you can keep it here index.css file okay so global level css file and uh, see this logo.svg file we have here so if you want to you know change it with your logo you can change it okay here also you have logos like different size of uh, logos you will have it for different uh, kind of applications right so that is been decided over here see you can come and change here okay see that so you'll come to know when the situation comes you'll find the uh, proper file and you can change it so we do have only this much file here uh, like uh, in angular we have uh, many files we do not have uh, that many files over here okay so we do have this favicon icon favicon icon means uh, which is getting displayed uh, in the title bar so you can change it with your icon okay so these many files we have it so robot.txt file we have it so this is for digital marketing right so they will give you this robots.txt files so you need to replace it with uh, their file okay so these kind of things you need to do it so inside node modules you will find all the packages uh, which is required to run this application and uh, to build the application right so these many things we have it folders are getting created automatically anyways now what we'll do is we'll run this so in angular we we'll, uh, run it with ng serve command here we run it with so react scripts starts it will be little different here so don't follow that so here react scripts means you can replace it with npm npm start npm build npm test okay so uh, we don't uh, run directly npm test i uh, run it with npm run test okay and if we have test coverage also then we write hyphen hyphen coverage so now uh, if you see here see that so this is my react application now let us understand uh, the jsx uh, so i'll go to app.js file okay so you can see it is a functional component so in angular we have class based components right we do not have functional components so in react we do have uh, two types of components one is class based components and the other one is a functional component just keep in that mind so now if you can see uh, this is how my component looks like everything is in the same file you can see js and uh, html is together right so basically it is xml okay xml plus html with javascript 
So what happens over here is in functional component, you can even create a arrow function. Okay. So function app and we are returning the JSX elements, right? So you can see I have div, okay, one parent element inside that we have a other HTML elements. So we do have some JSX restrictions. So let me explain the JSX restrictions. So first of all, one is all elements must be mapped inside one element. Okay. So in short, it should have one parent element. Okay. It should not have sibling element. The second one, you should write class name instead of class. The third one will be, you should use HTML for instead of for, for attribute you might be knowing. Write style equal to whatever you are writing inside this style that should be in object. Okay. In object format and you will be using CSS DOM properties. Like say if I'm telling background color, how will you be writing? So usually we write it background hyphen color, right? But here we, and then you should recite your value in this single quotes. Okay, so let's say hash FFF. Okay, by the way, it will be, it is an object, right? So you should separate it comma. Then let's say font size. That should also be there inside the single quote. So these are all some, uh, you know, restrictions, which is there inside uh, JSX. Uh, yes, of course, when we will be coding, right, we will come to know about JSX a lot. Okay, because we'll go through some errors or something. Okay, we'll come to know about it. So now you can see class names are there, right? And source is recited in this uh, expression, right? Curly braces. So now let me remove everything and then just write. So it is coming here. Why is it coming here? Because of uh, the CSS, which is... Uh, there uh, here app.css class name is app that is why this component is in center okay so this is how you will be creating a component okay i have uh, import statement import react from a react library so what kind of a export we have done over here is it a default export or a named export so it is a default export because we do not have uh, that curly braces around this react right okay and if you see here so they are doing an export uh, like this as namespace react export equal to react okay and uh, see even uh, when we want to write some images right so we need to import images it is not like angular uh, we can give image tag and then, then give the path and done. So it is not like that. All the images, whichever is need, and then use them, right? So you can see before that it was there like this, right? Source, logo, see? You need to use them like this, okay? You need to import the images and then use them. And see, CSS you will be importing in this way. So there is no name, directly import, and then you need to give the path, that's it. Thank you.